bell bullet. on the bell bullet for some time and I thought what better way to do it after reaching the landmark of 400 subscribers so thank you very much indeed for sticking around with the channel it's been a brilliant year getting to know the bike getting to know the motorcycle community so a huge thank you and please do pass on the channel details to anyone you think would be interested in the content going forward so the bell bullet it's an amazing helmet I love the bell bullet helmet but I wanted to go through a couple of the reasons why I purchased it, look at the style, the function, and is it worth the £550 price tag? I think the best way to review the Bell Bullet and to show you why I purchased this is to sort of compare it to my other two helmets. So, I have the Showy Glamster which I've done a, a couple of reviews on. I did an initial review and then a six month update and then an annual update. I've also got the open face uh, bell helmet. This sits, I think, neatly in between the two and I'll explain why. So my first ever helmet was the Sherry Glamster and I've now fitted it with the darker visor. When I bought it, it was kind of inclement weather and uh, we didn't know what the conditions were gonna be. So I thought a full face would be A, safer and be better with all the weather conditions as well. This has been an amazing all-rounder helmet and I wanted to have the sort of modern retro style of helmets. So all these three will, I think, fit into that category. So this is brilliant in winter. I think this is brilliant for motorway riding and dual carriageway riding and every day. So if you're looking for one helmet that does it all and you can take and it fits a, a modern retro bike and take it on the motorway and that sort of retro feel just around streets. I think the Sherry Glamster does it all. It feels like that modern retro with all sort of modern technology and very, very uh, watertight. Got the uh, pin lock system where on completely other side of the spectrum, the open face helmet, which I really, really prefer from just from an experience perspective. I rode the whole Molly Rally with this and it was an amazing helmet. Very much summer local area and for the Sherry Glamster, all-rounder, definitely on motorways, dual carriageway or longer journeys. So this is sort of an in-between. Now I've loved the look of the Bell Bullet. I think it's the best looking uh, modern retro helmet and it's probably up there with the head and helmets which are even more expensive than this one. So the, this is the carbon edition and it's 550 pounds uh, from Urban Rider, I think I bought mine, and with the mirror advisor. So not a cheap helmet at all. So is it actually worth it? So I'll go across the style points first. So the carbon look of the, of the helmet is incredible. I think that the aesthetics of the helmet are great. It's sort of a, quite a narrow, uh, tall helmet. And what I love about it, wearing it, and I suppose this is a bit of style and function, is that it feels like an open face helmet when you've got it on. Obviously it's not an open face helmet, but you, when your uh, head is positioned inside the helmet, you can't see any of the uh, the rim here, the, the sort of the brushed aluminium ring, which makes you feel like you're wearing this, but with the security of a full face helmet. So I think it's a really good in between. Just one tip when you're taking photographs, like now you can see the light and the camera inside here. I did a short video, you can see the camera person working in the visor, so that's a lesson learned. Other bits of style, you can get the black, depending on the colour of the bell bullet helmet you get, you can get these as black bolts here. I've got the silver brushed aluminium sides. And also you can get the um, clear visor or the clear bubble visor as well for the helmet. You can also obviously take the visor off and it makes a pretty good retro feel helmet without it, it's just one of my sunglasses. I don't do that because I just get paranoid that a bee's gonna fly in there and not be able to get out and sting me and I'll crash and burn and die. But this has been my definitely my go-to helmet if it's not pouring my brain 
functionality. Inside it's extremely comfortable. It doesn't have the uh, chin guard that the Shoei Glamster has here. So this is a really nice addition, A, to keep wind out and, and obviously with noise. This is just very plush interior and you can get a different linings for this. I think there's a bright red, sort of oxblood red, sorry, that you can get for the inside of this as well. Very, very comfortable. The styling obviously doesn't just stop at those, the brushed aluminium parts. You've got a nice magnetic sort of style slash functional uh, magnetic clip there. So very, very easy to lift this up and down. Not a pin lock system, so it does tend to steam up at lights or if you're heavy breathing for whatever reason. And the Shoei Glamster has the pin lock system. So it doesn't compete technically with the Shoei Glamster at all. I love being able to just grab the, the chin bar here and hang it over the um, handlebars as well. So just utility wise, it, it's very, very easy to use. Very, very light. I won't go into all the technical specs, there's loads of videos does that and you can read that on the, on the product, but it does feel very light. It's got that one clip for the visor at the top here and it's got a very sort of aesthetic straight line, which sits actually quite high on the head. So you can see sometimes the bottom of your chin area when you're when you're um, in imagery or, or photograph. The one big downfall in here, sometimes I take journeys to pool or obviously going on longer journeys. If you're going to do longer journeys with this helmet, make sure you have either earplugs or some type of hearing barrier because above 50, I can't hear anything and then it actually gets very, very painful if you're doing it for an extended period of time. I've got a Senna um, wireless system uh, in the helmet. Um, but I can't hit any of the music or any of the calls above 50 miles an hour. I think that I think Moto Bob has this uh, type of uh, infra, infrared, sorry, uh, Bluetooth collar with earbuds that for voice calls and for wireless communications. So that might do the, the best job of blocking out sound and noise cancelling as well as being able to um, hear music, etc. So I think that's probably the best option. Um, I might give that a go. On terms of venting on the Obviously, open face is fully vented. The Shoei Glampster has a couple of vents at the front that you can um, switch up and down. This has got four vents here. So when you're going along, it's amazingly well ventilated. Hence, you get really good ventilation in summer at sort of slow to medium speeds, but that becomes a downfall above 50 on motorways. It just becomes incredibly noisy. The ventilation is helped by this vent at the back here as well. Um, so, and I think that adds just a nice little aesthetic clip as well uh, when it looks on its side on. So is it worth the £550? I think it's the most stylish helmet apart from the head and helmets by a long way. I definitely think it's worth it from a, um, it's obviously a AAA rated helmet as well. So it's from a safety perspective, it's, it's right up there. And it's probably just what you like and what you prefer. And if you've got the budget to do it and you want it, then great. Does it reduce significant weight to make any difference when you're riding? Probably not. Does it look cool? Yes, it does. So if you've got the budget, I highly recommend it for definitely a three season helmet, not too long journeys on motorways, etc. Definitely recommended. If you're a motorway rider, definitely the, the Shoei Glamster if you want to maintain that sort of new, new retro uh, feel. So that's a, a quick review and update. Please um, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you.